Well, now I need a new shirt. Alright, so since I don't know how to drink like a normal human being, uh, i got to switch it on for this segment because I can't find another clean shirt. I really need to pull my life back together. So anyway, back to the video. Now today I'm doing something that I did about a year ago on my channel, and that is revealing a new bow. But I felt like last year when I did this, I was very unprepared when I made the video. I didn't really plan ahead to make the video. I was just kind of like, oh, I haven't uploaded in a week. I have a camera. I've got a bow. Let's slap something together here that doesn't need to be here. And although I did get some views on the video and people somewhat liked it, I really felt like it was kind of a slap in the face compared to some of the other stuff that I've made so far. So today, I'm hopefully going to make a better video of that, but with a different bow. So today I have a Bear Carnage. I think this is from like 2011, 2012. It is a very well kept bow. I had a family friend give it to me. And actually today off camera he helped me set it up with the poundage. I don't know what I'm at. I'm guessing it's like 50 pounds. But he knows what he's doing. So he cranked it down for me. Uh, I shot it a couple times but the draw length is way too long. I think it's set at 28 right now. Which is considered short I guess for a full grown person but since I'm short and my wingspan is that of a chipmunk I am only like I think 25 inch draw length so in this video I am going to show the bow off a little bit and we're gonna take it to the local archery shop and have them set it up for me get it sighted in and hopefully do some shooting so I'll see you guys in the next clip yeah Alright, so this bow came with a three pin sight on it, a trophy ridge stabilizer, and a drop away rest. Now I'm not really sure what brand the drop away rest was, or is, but it doesn't really matter to me as long as it shoots. And it shoots very well, it shoots very smooth. I shot it two or three times down there, and uh, as far as the draw length being way too long for me, everything was also just awesome, you know? So now that we've kind of gone over the bow, Let's skip ahead two or three days and get to the archery shop where we can get her set up. guys about two days later now and I got the bow back took it to the archery shop I didn't do a lot of filming in the archery shop because they were just about to close and I really wanted to get this bow done I didn't want to leave it overnight you know so didn't do a lot of filming got it done real quick and now I'm just gonna sting it out here shoot it a couple times I shot it this morning I got it sighted in so that uh, when I was filming this I wouldn't spend an hour and a half sighting this in on camera because I know that can be pretty boring so all the guy at the archer shop did is he adjusted the peep sight so that it would fit my eyes and he adjusted the draw length for me. But the reason it took a couple of days, we had to order a piece for the cam down here so that it could go down to my draw length. So without further ado, I got the big camera on here, aimed at my deer down there. Let's send a couple shots down range. This is 30 yards. We'll go 30 all the way up to 10. So here we go. All right, first shot, 30 yards with the bear. Here we go. Nice. Nice shot. Right in there next to it, so 30 yards is definitely good. Notice it's very, very smooth. It shoots quite flat for being at 30 yards. I think it's set at like 50 pounds. So on up to 20 we go.
All right, first shot at 20. Hopefully, we can drop it right in there. Here we go. A little bit to the right. I noticed that. That at 30, they were a little bit to the right, but very subtle. Right in the money zone. So 30 and 20 are knocked out. Shoots very good. So go up to 10, and then we can round this video off. All right, 10 yards for a shot. It's gonna be a chip shot. If I miss the vitals on this, uh, I'm just gonna not bow hunt this year. Here we go. First shot. Killer. Second shot. Pretty much just smoke the other arrow. But yeah, pretty much just smoke the other arrow that I put in there. So let's head inside and make an accurate statement. So after shooting that bear carnage for the day, I really found some things that I liked. I really liked the cam and a half system, which allowed a smoother draw and a really easy hold once it got past the breaking point. I also like the drop away rest, which I feel let my arrow shoot flatter and faster than my whisker biscuit on my other bow does. Although this bow's draw length is a little bit longer than my other bow, I really don't think it makes a difference in the way it shoots. Once I found my anchoring point, I really felt like I could hold it there and stay consistent for the rest of the day. All in all, I'd rate the bow a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy it and I'm really excited to hunt with it this deer season. So my plan of attack for this deer season is to hunt with my other bow first just because I have more confidence in it and try to get a deer down with that one. And once I do that, hopefully move on to this bear carnage and try to get a deer down with it. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for future videos.